So I've actually got an eye beacon attached to my cat. Ruby is alive. Ruby's not going in. Oh, I want to dream for developer happiness. So a new addition um, to the conference um, from last year is the addition or the presence of a code of conduct. Um, and Eric is going to kindly come up on stage and just give us a brief talk through what this code of conduct means. Um, so give Eric a round of applause. Thanks, Ben. Yep, so uh, Rails Israel has a code of conduct uh, for the first time this year. I guess there was, for the second time, there was technically one last year. Uh, it was very short. I think it was one sentence that said something like, be nice to each other, um, which is, uh, is good. The one this year is a little more complex, and um, Raphael thought it could use a little bit of explaining, so here I am explaining it. Um, I'd encourage you to actually go on the website and read the, the whole thing. There's a link at the top that says COC, uh, if you go to the main Rails Israel 2015 website. Um, so yeah, I'd encourage you to, to sort of, uh, yeah, read it, check that out. But the TLDR version is that um, we're trying to create a welcoming environment that's uh, welcoming for everybody, so people feel safe here and, yeah, like free to say whatever they want and be whoever they are, and um, yeah, just to make it a really nice conference for everybody. So. Uh, yeah, I'd ask that all of you just uh, take a look at that and do your best to, to adhere to it. And if you see some behavior that is not uh, meeting the standards of the code of conduct, um, you can get in touch with Raphael. Uh, I think it's Fogel24 at Gmail. His, um, his email address is there, so he'll sort of be enforcing it. And um, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for doing that, everybody. Appreciate it.